Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So I just got back here to Michigan. Uh, I just got back from Florida from the most epic iguana hunting trip. I had seen a lot of these hunts on YouTube and I had absolutely no idea how bad the iguana problem is down there. You know what, they're an invasive species, there's a ton of them, but I just had no concept of what kind of damage they were causing to the land, to the farms, the agriculture, even underneath the highways. We were floating down this strip of a uh, canal along this highway. So we saw dozens of these iguana burrows and we would just float up and literally 12 or more iguanas would just fly back into those uh, into those tunnels. So they're just, they're basically wiping out a lot of native species and ducks and birds and butterflies and basically just destroying the habitat down there. So I also was really excited about running the FX Impact M3 in a 22 caliber. I was using Patriot Outdoors Javelin Slugs in 26 grain. And the reason being is these things were shooting extremely fast and extremely flat. And as we were going to be in a moving boat, we just weren't going to have a lot of time to range to that target. So really just didn't really have a lot of time to calculate those holdovers or calculate that range. It's just kind of just running and gunning. Today we're going to be doing a hunt, clean, and cook. So first off, let's check out the hunt because we put down a ton of iguana meat. So check it out. Smoke them. Look at them. See those little hatchlings? They just hatched. Get those little terrorists. Yeah, baby. Godzilla. Oh my God. <laughs> Godzilla got you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, oh nice. Nice Ready, one, two, three. Oh! oh. <laughs> Right there, right there, get him. Oh. One more, one more, one more. Amazing. You got him. <laughs> yeah, baby, check it out. <laughs> FX Impact M3 getting the job done. But well, look at that beast. Hold that guy up, Mike. Wow. Look at that. That's a monster. High and dry. Yes. Whip you so hard, it'll knock you into the next world. I'm here with Yolanda Dew from Donnie FL and Saber Tactical. So, what are we doing today? 
Well, today we are going to cook our first ever iguana. And we have absolutely no idea what we're doing, but we've watched some YouTube videos, haven't we? We have the gist of it. Yes, yeah, so we've got it pretty much down. So let's, uh, we've got about, we, we shot probably hundreds of iguana. We picked out some small ones, medium ones, and some a really big one, yeah. just to kind of see what the flavor difference is of the different sizes. I think the smaller ones might taste better. What do you think? They might. Because that big guy's pretty, pretty big. Pretty big. So, all right, let's get to chopping. Let's do it. Airgun podcast, baby. Leaving the legs, so that way you can just go ahead and just cut that top part off, like almost kind of start your fillet here. By keeping it upright, it's almost like you're making kind of like an iguana tripod. You heard it first here, hashtag iguana tripod. You can just cut this top part off and it gets a good start to skinning. It just makes it a lot easier. What's so crazy about the iguana skin is it's so strong, like an armor plate, that typically if you try to do this like a filet of, on a fish, like a salmon or a bass, that skin would just rip. So what's cool about this, you can just put all your strength into just pulling that meat away from the skin like that. Look at that, just comes right off. Look at that, and that's just like super strong. I mean, no one's gonna break through that, so. Bam. All right, here we go. So we got the iguana all prepped, got the tails in here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna chemically cook this in a kind of a marinade and you do that with the acids from lime juice. So we'll just pour that in there, get that soaking. And so if you've ever had uh, ceviche, uh, that actually just chemically cooks the meat. Um, but I read on the uh, Florida Department of Health website and they actually recommended also cooking iguana meat. So we're gonna be also adding heat to it. And then of course, with any perfect recipe, you've got to put in the tequila. Get the tequila going here. All right, then we got a mixture here of, this is just uh, cayenne pepper and salt and regular black pepper. We're gonna add that into the marinade. Get some spice going in there. Get that all mixed up. So yeah, we're also gonna grill it, kind of give it a good grilled flavor. So yeah, so this is basically doing two things. It's chemically cooking it and a really tasty marinade, tequila, lime, spice. Oh yeah. All right, so there we go. We've got our iguana tacos. Yolanda, you wanna tell us a little bit about the recipe? So what we did is uh, actually he marinated the iguana in a tequila lime sauce. And what I did, other than, you know, your red cabbage, your um, onion, uh, we did a little bit of radish. I made a mix, uh, the sauce for avocado, ranch, and diced jalapenos in there to give it a little kick. So we grilled some jalapenos also on the side. You guys ready? I'm ready. ready. All right, let's do this. Let's get the lime on. Yeah, we'll squeeze a lime. Right Cheers. Here. Cheers. 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 All right, here we go. Good. It's really good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. All right. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right. So full transparency, full disclosure, uh, iguana probably aren't the best thing that I've ever had. Um, I think it had a lot to do with my first bite of iguana came from that really big one that we shot. Um, it just, it, it tasted off. It. Hold on, it's psychological. It smells good. What happened, Chris? It's not bad. <laughs> it tastes good. It just, it just can't get it out of my head. <laughs> it's a lizard. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. But your brain is telling you that it's a lizard. It's, my brain keeps telling me that it's not, it's not chicken. All right, hold on. 
Let's do this. Smells like chicken. It smells like, you can smell the tequila and the lime. I got that one down. Up good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So when Donnie and Yolanda invited me to come down and check out the Donnie FL and Sabre Tactical Headquarters, this was an experience that I could not pass up. So after spending a couple hours with them there in the warehouse, checking out their operations. So when I was able to actually sit down with Donnie and Yolanda and hear about their story, hear about how they established Donnie FL, it's literally the American dream. So if you follow my channel, you know that I absolutely love Donnie FL and Sabre Tactical products. But what I love most about their operations is how they run their business. I mean, if you're gonna start a business in the air gun sector or any vertical, you really just look at how they run things. Look how they handle their customer service, top-notch quality, top-notch people. So again, just what an amazing, amazing trip. The FX Impact M3 performed flawlessly. Just can't believe that a 22 cal can take down such a hardy lizard like the Godzilla Iguana. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe. Take care.